Yesterday, I made some actions in StreamerBot that allowed me to change my title, category, and even my tags on Twitch with just a single key press. Today, I wanted to share with you how I used ChatGPT to make it a little bit more creative and add some variety to my stream. So first, just to share with you what those actions were that I created, they were very simple. Uh, basically, at the beginning of every stream, I have StreamerBot grab my stream title. Right now, that's very simple. It says a year of streams, the number of stream that we're on, slash 365, and then some commands. StreamerBot then stores that title into a text file for me to grab later. So here what you see is, uh, it says read line from streamtitle.txt. That's the text file that the stream title is stored in. Then I always add like a little bit of delay after it reads something. Then we change the category or channel game to just chatting. And then we change the Twitch channel title to stream title. And this is for whenever I go back to just chatting from drumming or from making music or from playing a game. And I wanna make sure that everybody knows. Something that I find kind of annoying when I go into streams is if they're not doing what the title says. I'm a variety streamer and I wanna be able to do things whenever I feel like doing them. So if I wanna play drums, then I should be able to press a key and then it changes the title, it changes the category, it changes the tags without me having to sit here for three minutes and figuring out, okay, what am I gonna call this? So now we have to change the title on stream in front of everybody. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a successful streamer, so please do not use this as advice for streamers. This is just me sharing a way that I've found to be creative with ChatGPT and StreamerBot. That being said, please consider following me on Twitch. So I did that here. Here's the Mario Kart 8. It reads the line from stream title, the TXT, which we already did. And then it reads a random line from a Mario Kart titles.txt file, which we'll talk about here in a second. Delay for 100 milliseconds. Then we do channel game, changes the category to Mario Kart 8. And then it changes my title to Mario Kart title as a variable and then stream title as a variable. Again, we'll get into that. So let's say I wanna play Marvel Rivals and I want the stream title and category and tags and all that to match. I can do all that with the actions that you saw the same way, but first I want to make the title a little bit more interesting instead of just saying Marvel Rivals or something generic to that effect. So here in ChatGPT, what I'm gonna say is, I'm a variety streamer on Twitch semicolon i play drums make music do sound design play games and talk about stream stuff i would like to have 100 different short titles that are relevant to Marvel Rivals when I decide to play that game. Could you make those for me? And so now ChatGPT is creating these for me. Rivalry in the multiverse, Avengers assemble your decks, Marvel mayhem begins, power moves only, villains or heroes, let's clash. Some of them are cheesy, some of them are really good. I do know that the way that I have formatted them, it would be good to have some sort of separation between this part of the title and then the rest of the title. So after it's done, what I'm going to ask them is, can you give me those again, but for the ones that don't have an emoji at the end, please add one. And now ChatGPT will repeat the same process, but add an emoji at the end of them that is relevant to the title. So all of these have quotes, 
Uh, I don't want the quotes in there because I want to just copy them down, put them in a text file and then use them later. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask, can you do that again, but remove the quotes? And it will do that for me. Okay, I have now copied all these into this text file I called Marvel Rivals Title. And I put this text file in this folder that I use for text files when I'm using StreamerBot. Like I said, not all of these are golden, so you can always go through and edit them, or you know, you can also say, hey, these seem a little cheesy. Can you tone that down a bit? and see what it says. Here's a refined list of less cheesy titles for Marvel Rivals gameplay. Good, so I've grabbed those and they're a little less cheesy, but I don't really mind being too cheesy, so now I've just got 200 instead of 100. I'll save that, close it out, we're good. Now in StreamerBot, let's create the action. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the Mario Kart one and duplicate it, and then we'll just double click here and we will change this to Marvel Rivals titles. Okay, so the first thing I did was read the line from this text file that is my regular stream title. This is just the basic template. Future Dave here, I am editing the video and realized that I was going way too fast and didn't actually go over what I was doing. So quickly, let me show you. If you right click here in the sub actions, you go to core, and then you go to file IO, you have several different options. You have read lines from file, read random line from file, read specific line from file, and write to file. If you want to write a variable to a file, you select that, you create the file that you want to write to, and then you, sit, you hit save, and then the text you want to write will be the variable that comes in. And I can show you that another time in another video, how to use variables and, and how to find them. Um, anyways, going back in here, core, file IO, read lines from file, you can read all of the file, read all of the lines from the file. And then the variable name, same thing, same idea. Then core, file IO, what I usually do is one of these two, read random line from file or read specific line from file. Read land, random line from file, we'll just read a random line from the file. You can parse the variables, you can, there, there are other, you know, options here, but if you just want one line from the file, you do count one, you can do multiple lines from the file, and then those variables will actually be uh, random capital line one, two, three, four, five. All of this is in the streamer bot documentation on their website. I highly recommend you check that out. I will leave the link in the description. And then the last one is the read specific line from file. And you just have to specify which line. Look, it even tells you the line number you want to read can also be a variable. Then you choose the file to read from as usual. And then the variable name, if you want to specify a variable name, otherwise it's going to be percent line percent. Sorry for going too fast. Now back to the video. And then we're going to read the random line and then I gotta go in and find the file, which is Marvel Rivals Titles, then hit open. And then we're gonna call the variable Marvel with a lowercase m Rivals Title. And then I'm gonna copy this so I have it in a second. Uh, hit okay, everything should look like this. Uh, ca camel case for variables, all right? And then everything else, like I said, this needs to be the path to your text file and then this is the title variable. Hit okay. I add a delay, you may not have to worry about that. When I'm reading multiple text files, I just wanna make sure that there's time for it to think, I guess. So I'm gonna go in and you can right click and go to Twitch, channel, and then set channel title or set channel game. Okay, we're just gonna go to channel game and then I'm going to do select a game and then go in here and search Marvel Rivals. There it is, select. Okay, so that part's done. And then in here, we've got Mario Kart title. So I'm gonna replace this with the other variable. And these are in parentheses. 
because they're variables. And then I hit space and then my stream title, which was the other variable, which is what was read from my other text file. And then hit OK. And now all I have to do is map this to my stream deck or a key press or whatever, and then hit save and we're all good. In the middle of the stream, I can go and I will show you here. In here, I have a profiles page that is, whoa, what happened? This was not saved right here. And we'll call this titles. Cool. And then I go here and it switches my regular stream deck to this. Okay. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to search for streamer bot. I'm going to add an action here and then I'm going to make sure it's the right instance. And I'm going to search for Marvel rivals. And there it is. That's the action. So now I have this action that will change my title and I will show you what happens when I do that. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here's my quick actions. I'm going to go in here to my edit info. This was from last night when I was playing Mario Kart 8. It says drifting to glory. Like I said, these are a little cheesy. You can talk to ChatGPT and try to tone that down or whatever, but I'm fine with it. I'm gonna go ahead and press this button and then it will change my title for me. So I pressed it, let's go in here. Now we have Marvel, but make it competitive. And it kept, my, it kept the rest of my stream title. Now, just as a bonus, let's make a key for it. So right here, I'm going to hit this drop down, and I'm gonna set create new icon. That's going to take us to the Elgato page where you can create your own key, right? I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search Marvel Rivals PNG. Go to images and then I'm just going to find something that I think would look good on the stream deck. Okay, I found one that I like. I'm going to go ahead and hit the little icon here to add an image. And now all I have to do is just save this key. Okay, then I go in here and I'm gonna rename it. Marvel Rivals SD key. I'm gonna drag it into my folder that I keep all my things. And then I go back in here, set from file, Marvel, and then there it is open and now i have a key that is specifically for Mar marvel rivals i have just chatting mario kart 8 the finals and now marvel rivals so that's all for this video if you don't mind before you go just hit that like button and subscribe to my channel that would be awesome anyways thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye have a great time